Hi there, this is Katie from Furrow and Feather SVG. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to bring one of my designs into Cricut Design Space um, and how to attach score lines and get the um, correct pieces cut out. Um, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to find where you downloaded um, the initial zip folder. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to extract that. Um, so you're able to view all of the files inside. And my designs come with um, different things. This, this file in particular comes with dash score lines, solid score lines, an envelope, and instructions. Um, uh, we're gonna wanna use the dash score lines file. I recommend that um, pretty much any time, unless you own a Cricut score tool. Um, so let's open up the dash score lines file and you're gonna to wanna to use the SVG. Um, and I'm currently on Windows 10. Um, depending on what operating system that you're on, it might be easier or more difficult to see the um, file type here, the extension. Um, and sometimes it can be hidden like that. So you look at the type and you say, um, there's no SVG file. Um, for whatever reason, um, SVGs are sometimes labeled as HTML files. Um, but just know that this is the file that you are supposed to use. All right, so let's go back to design space. I'm gonna click on upload over here in this left-hand column, and I'm gonna click on upload image on this left side. We're gonna go back to that folder, and we're gonna drag this SVG file here. Okay, this is looking accurate, so we're gonna click on upload. We're gonna click on this, the recent upload, and we're gonna click over here, add to canvas, bottom right. And that's gonna bring that design onto our canvas in Design Space. All right, um, as you can see, it's kind of a jumbled mess at the moment. Um, Cricut, for whatever reason, is not the best with lining up the files the way that the, that the designer kind of laid them out and exported them. Um, but it all cut out correctly, so no worries. Um, it's also grouped together at the moment. As you can see, all of the pieces kind of move around together. So the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to this right-hand column at the top and click on ungroup. All right, and as you can see, little pieces can be moved around by themselves now. Um, the next step is to attach the score lines to the pieces that need to be folded. Um, those pieces in this design are the back piece here and the middle piece here. Um, and there are two ways to go about this. Um, I personally like to click on the pieces themselves and it will highlight them in this column um, so you're able to see what you have selected. Um, you can also scroll through this and find them yourselves, but that can be kind of difficult, especially with a very intricate design like this that has a lot of different pieces. So I like to click on it and it will select it here in this column. And you can kind of see, if you click on the eye, it will hide and then you know show again the, the, the layer or piece that you're on. So we want this, and you can see that this is the what is selected. All right, when you have your piece selected, um, we're gonna come down here to the bottom right and click on attach. All right, we're gonna do that with this other piece with score lines here, the middle piece, we're gonna click on attach. Um, the next step is to come over here on um, top right, click on make it. And what Cricut does automatically is it sorts out all of these pieces onto um, different mats, depending on what color cardstock you're gonna use. Um, we're gonna come down here. This is our back piece here on this dark brown. And as you can see, the score lines are where they're supposed to be um, for folding this piece. Um, I'll do a quick example of what would happen if you didn't attach the pieces. So if you didn't attach, um, let's click on make it. You can see this dark brown back piece now, the score lines are not on the piece, they're not where they're supposed to be. Um, and you would end up wasting a whole thing of cardstock, you know, it's pretty frustrating. So again, you click on the pieces with the score lines that need to be folded, click on attach, click on make it, and it should attach those the score lines where they, where they are supposed to be. Um, so yeah, I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions, um, please get in contact with me. The easiest way to get a hold of me is through email or through um, Etsy messages. 
um, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. I know that this can be super confusing, especially to a new user. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Um, and if you're interested in seeing more of my designs, I kind of focus on more intricate card designs that you can kind of fold flat, <coughs> excuse me, and then pop back out and display, and it, um, they look really neat. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, um, I sell designs on, through Etsy, through the Silhouette Design Store, and on my own website, and I will leave links below. Um, thanks so much for watching.